Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about scanning electron microscope. It's also called SEM SEM. So scanning electron microscope is very important type of electron microscope. In my previous video, I complete discuss about electron microscope. So I recommend it that video you go watch uh, first for better understanding the concept. So uh, electron microscope is basically two type. It's SAM and TEM, uh, scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope. In this particular video, we completely discuss about SAM scanning electron microscope. So basic introduction of SAM is, it is a type of electron microscope uses electrons to illuminate, illuminate a specimen and create an enlarged image. So this is the basic uh, introduction of SAM. Uh, that re resolution of SAM is 10 to 100 nanometer. Its lateral resolution is 1 uh, to 10 nanometer. Magnification power is 10 to 5 plaque x. So this is the basic uh, uh, basic important point about scanning electron microscope. Now the principle principle is very important for our uh, semester exam point of view, and it is uh, uh, scanning electron microscope is basically very important for our competition exam point of view as well as very important for uh, MSc second semester exam examinations. So principle of scanning electron microscope is uh, the theory portion of uh, principle is the signals used by a scanning electron microscope to produce an image result from interaction of the electron beam uh, with atom at various depth within the sample various type of signals are produced. So this is the basic uh, uh, theory portion of principle. So what is the basic principle that work is we uh, uh, so elect we use electron beam in scanning electron microscope. Uh, electron beam uh, when we electron beam bombarded to the sample the atoms and electron beam when at uh, when atom of sample and electron beam is interact uh, three types of signal are produced so this is uh, the basic principle that's work uh, in that principle scanning electron microscope is work so three types of electron uh, three types of signals are produced that is secondary electrons backscatter electron emitted x-ray protons so these three types of signals are uh, are collected and surface of the specimen in image in 3d and black and white so we got 3d image in this scanning electron microscope for using this electron microscope we scanning electron microscope we uh, we got 3d image uh, when we use tem uh, transmission electron microscope we got 2d uh, image so this is the basic difference between SAM and TAM. Uh, so this is the uh, theory portion of principle. Now from diagram we understood very well of that principle is that it is our specimen or sample when radiation source electron beam is bombarded to a specimen or our sample. Three types of electron, uh, three types of signals are produced. That is secondary electron, backscatter electron, and emitted X-ray electron. Uh, uh, emitted x-ray and also transmitted electron um, in our uh, next video trans, uh, transmission, uh, transmission electron microscope we um, study about transmitted electrons so three types of uh, signals are produced that is uh, secondary electron backscatter and emitted x-ray so this is the basic principle uh, uh, working function uh, working working principle working that work uh, scanning electron microscope in this using this principle now uh, the instrumentation part of this scanning electron microscope is very important so when we are going to discuss about the uh, instrumentation of SAM, uh, we have to uh, know about the every single parts of that uh, instrumentation. So we uh, study uh, its instrumentation by its uh, um, uh, study by every uh, uh, every parts of that uh, that instrument. So we use uh, electron source, electron beam, anode, condenser, uh, condenser lens, objective lens, scanning coil, and this is the uh, motorized stage in which we uh, <coughs> use sample uh, our specimen. Uh, this is the um, this is the uh, secondary electrons, uh, backscatter electron, and X-ray detector. Uh, this all signals are we got after electron beam bombarded to sample. So what is the electron source? What is the electron beam? So for electron source, we use electron gun. Electron gun is basically uh, defined by, so electron gun contain tungsten filament, uh, one to 30 kilowatt accelerating voltage is applied to produce the electron beam. So basically electron gun is used to produce the electron beam. It is very important. And uh, 
anode is very important uh, work, working of anode is uh, anode it is positively charged and attract the negatively charged electron and ultimately this anode will accelerate the velocity of the electron so basically it's uh, anode's main work of anode is accelerate the electron beam so it is very important and the important point one of the very important point is that uh, electron beam is uh, controlled by anode electron beam is basically controlled by anode uh, condenser lens and objective lens and lenses these are electromagnetic lenses so three ty two types of lenses we use is condenser lens and objective lens and these both lens are electromagnetic uh, lenses so uh, the basic work of condenser lens uh, and uh, objective lens uh, lens are so condenser lens what is work of that condenser lens is this lenses will focus the electron beam toward the objective lens so basically uh, when uh, electron gun produce the electron beam anode is accelerated then uh, then condenser lens um, focus electron beam toward the objective lens then objective lens this lens will again focus the electron uh, electron beam toward the sample or specimen so this is the basic work of condenser and objective lenses uh, after we have uh, after the uh, yeah uh, when the electron beam are when electron beam are bombarded to sample okay so before we are going to study the sample uh, principal working of that instrument we have to know about the sample preparation so sample preparation is also very important so what is the sample preparation first we have uh, we have uh, to cleaning clean um, we have to clean our sample then dry then dehydration uh, for dehydration we use acetone and alcohol then coat it and fixation fixation okay this microscope cannot be used to image living cell because we uh, we use uh, we we do the dehydration of that um, particular sample that's why we don't use the image uh, living cell living cell in this microscope so uh, this is the our sample uh, this is our sample uh, like a dehydrated sample dehydrated sample and electron beam is bombarded in then three uh, three types of uh, three types of signal we got first is secondary electron uh, back scatter electron and x ray detection so um, in SAM, so one of the very important point is that before we are going to uh, discuss about the secondary electron, we have to know about that point is in SAM, rust, uh, raster scan generator is used for live scanning and it will help to complete scanning of the surface of a specimen. So we use a uh, raster scan uh, generator, uh, generator to live scanning of that sample. So what is the secondary electron when we got our first signal is secondary electron. So secondary electron is basically uh, detection of SAM. Uh, so it is a very important detection uh, of SAM is uh, secondary electron are most abundant in the, in the case of SAM and detected by suitable detector. Uh, ever heart Thornley uh, or ET detector is most commonly used detector for detection of secondary electron in SAM. ET detector contain uh, biased grid which is positively charged to attract the attract the secondary electron secondary electron detected by ET detector will produce the basic imaging of SAM so this is the basic uh, introduction basic uh, important uh, theory portion of um, secondary electron or acid detection so uh, what is the acid, uh, acid uh, secondary electron detected by ET detector and it is the uh, ab uh, most abundant in this case of SAM and uh, secondary electron detected by ET detector will produce the basic imaging of SAM. So secondary electron is be, uh, uh, produce the basic imaging of SAM. Uh, our second uh, detection in SAM is backscatter electron. It is one of the very important uh, signal. So energy of backscatter electron SES are higher than secondary electron. So ET detector of varying voltage can differentiate between them. So this is the basic difference between backscatter and secondary electron. Um, so secondary uh, backscatter electron has higher energy than scatter electron, higher than secondary electron. Um, energy of backscatter electron is hi uh, higher than secondary electron. And three uh, third detection in SAM is X-ray detect uh, detector. Inside the sample holder, X-ray detector is placed and it will detect the x-ray emitted by the sample this detection process is known as edx or energy dispersive x-ray analysis 
so this is the x-ray detection so this is the basic uh, function principle of uh, um, so electro uh, electric beam electric beam are bombarded to sample three types of detection we got a secondary electron backscatter electron and x-ray uh, detector when three uh, signals are used uh, using by cpu and we got the same imaging this is the our final product by using instrument of that same and it is uh, and this image has high resolution power and this has a uh, magnified image we got and it is very important uh, instrumentation uh, to got that and we generally use the optical microscope but when we required higher resolution and magnified image then we use scanning electron microscope and this is a, uh, a basic working function um, of this uh scanning electron microscope and this is the principle of scanning electron microscope i hope you under in, understood what i try to um explain and uh, it will helpful for your uh, examinations now the application part of scanning electron microscope it is very important application parts is so application first application is for investigate of virus structure 3d tissue imaging insect third is insect spore other micro organism organism a cellular component visu uh, visualize and geolo uh, geologist often use them to learn more about crystalline structure and industries including my uh, micro electronics uh, uh, medical devices food processing all use them as a way to examine the surface compositions of component and product so this is the basic um, application of sam and very important i hope this notes will help for your semester exam as well as for any competition exam and your preparation in examinations and i hope uh, I hope it will be helpful for if uh, helpful for you and if you find it's helpful so please support uh, like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching